Dear students, today's topic is on inguinal ligament. Inguinal ligament, it is named after Francois Popart, who is a French surgeon and who accurately described the inguinal ligament. So, the inguinal ligament, otherwise called as Popart's ligament or fallopian ligament, which is a fibrous band extending from anterior superior iliac spine to pubic tubercle. So, here we can see the anterior view of bony pelvis showing the inguinal ligament and its attachments. So, this white fibrous band is the inguinal ligament. And laterally it attaches from anterior superior iliac spine. I'm writing ASIS. And medially it attaches to pubic tubercle. So the lateral half runs obliquely while the medial half is almost horizontal. It is formed from the free inferior border of the aponeurosis of external oblique muscle. So here we can see the anterior abdominal wall and this the outermost muscle which is present in the anterior anterolateral side of the abdominal wall is external oblique muscle. So, the lower free margin of external oblique muscle, it gets folded on itself to form inguinal ligament. So, the outermost is the external oblique, deep to external oblique is internal oblique, deep to internal oblique is transversus abdominis and lower free margin of external oblique gets folded to form inguinal ligament. So, there are uh, several ligaments which are formed from the extension of medial end of inguinal ligament which helps the attachment of inguinal ligament to the pubis. So, here in this image, this is the inguinal ligament. And this is the pubis. Superior pubic ramus. So, the first modification of inguinal ligament on its medial end is the lacunar ligament. It is a crescentric shaped uh, ligament which extends from the medial end of inguinal ligament. So, this crescentric shaped fold is the lacunar ligament. On the superior ramus of pubic bone. So, this line is the pectin pubis and here is the inguinal ligament. So, this one is the lacunar ligament. The next ligament is the pectineal ligament, sometimes known as inguinal ligament of Cooper. It is named after Astley Cooper and it is an extension of lacunar ligament. Lacunar ligament is otherwise known as Gimbernat's ligament. So, this ligament of Cooper or pectineal ligament, it runs on the pectineal line of pubic bone. So, along the pectineal line of the pubic bone, the extension of this lacunar ligament is the ligament of Cooper which is otherwise called pectineal ligament. So, we know the inguinal ligament it is the modification of external oblique aponeurosis. So, the upper surface of the inguinal ligament gives origin to external spermatic fascia which continues in the scrotum. So, it is not in the inguinal canal it extends into the scrotum around the vast difference that is uh, around the spermatic cord. So, that is about the external spermatic fascia which is extends from its medial part. Internal oblique muscle attaches to the lateral two-thirds of the inguinal ligament. So, here we can see this is external oblique muscle. Okay. 
and the here is the rectus abdominis. So we can see the internal oblique muscle. This is the superficial inguinal ring. And here is the inferior epigastric vessels. So we can see from the inner aspect, aspect of the pelvis where we can see the femoral artery and vein which enters in through the femoral ring uh, where it uh, goes deep to the inguinal ligament and enters into the anterior compartment of the thigh. And below the ligament is continuous with the fascial later of the thigh and upper grooved surface forms the floor of the inguinal canal. So here we can see it continues with the deep fascia of the thigh which is called as fascia lata and along the upper margin of fascia lata you can see the inguinal ligament. So the inguinal ligament on its medial part on that is the upper grooved surface forms the floor of inguinal canal. So the functions of the inguinal ligament, it anchors the aponeurosis of external oblique muscle to the pelvis. So that is the main function and apart from that inguinal ligament forms the base of the femoral triangle and the floor of inguinal canal. Let's see the relations of inguinal ligament. Inguinal ligament crosses the anterior uh, to various structures entering the thigh from the pelvis. So these are like iliopsoas and pectineous muscles so which runs posterior to the inguinal ligament which forms the floor of femoral triangle and inguinal ligament it is related to femoral nerve at its midpoint and lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh and lymphatic channels draining the inguinal lymph nodes are also associated with the inguinal ligament. And deep circumflex iliac artery, it is present on the lateral aspect of the inguinal ligament. Inguinal ligament is considered as the reference point where the external iliac artery becomes the femoral artery. So we can see the external iliac artery. So here are the external iliac vessels which continue as femoral vessels. So these are the relations of inguinal ligament. Thank you.